Today is national holiday. There's no school. to a dice strip mall. Hey, Katone. There's something I want to ask you. Rio seems nervous. Um, don't laugh, okay? How do you act more like a girl? Rio is blushing a little. Well, um, I, I guess something like Miss Kano uh, trying to be more like a girl's, um, I don't know how to go about it. Adults rely on sense. I see. You mean frilly clothes? Will those look good on me? What should I do? That's so not my thing. Can you choose some for me? You sense Rio's determination. Today your friendship has grown stronger. Huh? For me? Wow, this is nice! Thank you very much! Rio seems to really like the present. Hey. Hey. Let me check something. Okay, yeah, so that actually was the last person that got that wandered into Tartarus this time, so. We can go tonight. very different about this floor. The enemies are different too. I'll scan the floors above you. Please give me some time. Can you go up a little higher? I'm having trouble sensing what's ahead. I sense something, but I need more time to determine exactly where it is. Please proceed cautiously. I know where it is now. The 122nd floor. Please be aware. How are you feeling? Please don't push yourself too hard. You're almost to the 122nd floor. Please be careful. There's someone on this floor. Find them, please. So yeah, this is, uh, Bunkichi. So you need to make sure to rescue him, even if you don't rescue anyone else, which, I mean, I recommend doing because you might as well do it. Um... You still need to rescue him. Or else the Hierophant social link will be gone forever. The enemy is on the next floor. Please be careful. There are three shadows in the middle. Be careful. Here it comes! This is no ordinary enemy! Don't let your guard down! This one's kind of like... a trick, I think. Because there are these, like, enemies, like, they're normal enemies. But they're weak to, uh, electric, and so you see these and assume they're weak to, to electric, but they're not. They're weak to... Water. 
what? Um, ice, I think? Let's see. I will show no mercy. Yep. The enemy's down. Let's finish. You'll fall by my hand. <laughs> Snake in a bikini. That's the way. Here's our chance for an all out attack. Throw me at him. Persona. It must be eliminated. Something seems different about the enemies in that area. Please be careful. Give me a moment and I'll check to see what's beyond this floor. Sorry, no luck. Can you please go higher up? Can you go up a little higher? I'm having trouble sensing what's ahead. I sense something, but it's going to take me some time to pinpoint its location. I can't get a clear reading. Can you go up a little higher? I sense something above you, but I can't seem to figure out exactly where it is. Can you go up a little higher? Are you tired? Please don't push yourself too hard. I know where the strong presence is. The 135th floor. It's still a ways away, but please keep that in mind. You're almost to the 135th floor. Please be careful. There's someone on this floor. Find them, please. I sense a strong presence on the 135th floor. Please be careful. How are you feeling? Please don't push yourself too hard. The enemy is on the next floor. Please be careful. There's a really powerful shadow near the middle. Be careful. Here it comes. It seems like it's exceptionally strong. Its arcana is the magician. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. So I think this one uses... Persona. Fire? The enemy is still alive. Here! Well, some 
sweep to fire, but I have dodge fire. Wow, it's really just using this. Okay. Again, I wish it, it wouldn't use the homunculi for anyone except the main character. For some reason, there are way fewer enemies in that area. This area doesn't have many enemies either. There's someone on this floor. Find them, please. There aren't many enemies there either. This looks like the end. Good job, everyone. You can come back to the entrance now. Alright, I bet this one's gonna be real interesting. I knew it. These shadows arise due to you and emotion. If I'm right, collecting them will... Wow. So I ran around for like two hours uh, trying to find the katana that Theo wants and I couldn't find it. I don't know why, but like uh, r uh, the katana chest RNG has been really bad to me. In case you're wondering, the way you do it is there there is uh, specific floors and on each floor determines what will be in the rare chests. Uh, so for this particular katana, it's on floor 128 and uh, 132 and also 118, but since it's closest to this, uh, which is actually not that close, honestly, so this one was particularly annoying, um, we would uh, go to 128 and then go up the floors to 132 and then go back if none of the chests contained it. Uh, but the thing is, is like the reward is 99 Malachite and I'm still going to do it, but I, but I already have 99 Malachite, so that's not even going to benefit me at all right now. So I'll just come back next time and there is no deadline, so we don't have to rush it. Today is the autumnal equinox. There's no school. It seems there will be a day-long film festival today. Maybe you should invite someone from the dorm to go with you. I think the only one you can invite now is Ken, and I don't need those points right now. Yes, we've never hung out with her before, so... It's not that I don't want to hang out with Sori. Like, I love her a lot, but it's just like, we don't- we usually don't need to. Iwatodai Strip Mall. Your clothes are so cute, Katone-chan. They're very feminine. You look wonderful in them. Sorry, is smiling. I think you'd look good even in the kind of elegant dress the princesses wear. I really adore things like that. It sounds childish, but dreaming about a handsome prince rescuing you? Isn't that something all girls do? I've, I've never seen a, a more severe case of needs to watch Utena than with Sori here. Sori is laughing somewhat sadly. Have you already found your prince, Katone-chan? Then I'm sure you'll meet one soon. I bet that he'll be a fine prince. Sori is smiling. Today you learned something new about her. Yeah, that she needs to watch Utena. For me? Can I open it? 
Wow, this is fantastic. You made this, no? It's so cute. I adore this kind of thing. Thank you. I'll cherish it forever. Sorry seems to really love the present. It's starting to get dark out. You decide to go back to the dorm. Where have you been? Good boy. Find me homunculi, too. Good morning. It feels like fall since the typhoon passed, doesn't it? <sighs> I hope the fighting ends before winter comes. I hope so. A lot of people are concerned about stress today. Believe it or not, crying can relieve stress. The tension is washed away with all those tears. But if the root cause of the stress isn't addressed, it'll become a vicious cycle. By the way, does anyone here know the number one cause of stress? You feel tired. For men, it's their job, and for women, it's their husband. Men get stressed from dealing with their bosses, co-workers, and so on. When they seek comfort at home, it passes on to their wives. They, in turn, relieve their stress through personal hobbies. That's how a successful marriage functions. Did she say that unironically? Damn, she's not as cool as I thought. All right, everyone, quiet down. There will be no classes this afternoon. However, that doesn't mean you'll be allowed to goof off. You'll all have to work together to clean up the displays and decorations for the school festival. I'll assign you into three groups for the cleanup. The first group will go to the science lab. Your leader will be... Afternoon classes were canceled and you'll be cleaning up after the school festival instead. Didn't Junpei say cleaning up all the cult cultural festival stuff is a pain, so I'm glad we don't have to do it and then we have to clean up anyway even though we didn't have it? Gekokan High School, science room. You're assigned to clean up alongside Yukari, Junpei, and Igis. Well, let's get this over with. Um... Let's break up into groups of two. One person takes down photos, the other binds them together. Alrighty. Indeed, Katone-san is right. Let us devote all our strength to taking it easy. You began cleaning up with everyone. Sucks for the photography club that they took so many pictures and no one got to see any of them. Oh, isn't this from the summer fellowship? Look, here's Katone! You guys went to a school in the countryside, right? Lucky! They had a hot spring too, didn't they? I wanted to go in one too. We'll be going to one soon enough. Are you talking about the school trip? That's in November. Talk about jumping the gun. I can't believe we're going to Kyoto. Eh, it's where everyone goes. I really wish they wouldn't make us go to all the shrines and stuff. Yeah, seriously! Kenji and Kazushi have arrived. They seem to have brought cleaning supplies with them. So, Yukari-san, why don't I show you around Kyoto when we go? How did we jump onto that subject? Anyway, did you find a nail puller? Yeah, Kazushi brought all of them. You've got a bunch to choose from. We just needed one or two. Aren't the guys in the other classes going to need them too? Oh, you're right. I I'll go return the rest. Uh, well, I don't think you need to go right away, just if someone asks. Uh, I see. Uh, then I'll leave them here. You know, when you're with girls, well, more like when you're with Yukari-san. What? Nothing. Oh, so that's how it is. <laughs> that reminds me, Junpei, you were in charge of the popping stuff. Did you bring some? Popping stuff? Oh, the bubble wrap. Uh, good call, Kenji. Go get it. You know where they keep all this stuff, right? Well, yeah, but I just got back from there. You go get it. You're the one who forgot in the first place. Huh? Are you sure? You really don't want to go? That place is like a paradise, you know that? 
Some fine chicas there who'd be just your type. Wait, are you serious? Be right back, guys! Yeah, like I'd fall for that, dumbass. What kind of supply room is stocked with hot babes? Ugh, we're never gonna finish at this rate. If you're gonna talk, talk while you work. She's like a pissed off samurai. I heard that. Jeez, are you stupid or something? More like stupid, I think. Deja vu. Ugh, fine, I'll go to the supply room later. But man, it's a real shame the school festival fell through. There was some hilarious stuff planned, like a cross-dressing pageant. Oh, I'm so sad we didn't get to see that. I'm sure it was so funny. They said it would be open to everyone, so I was planning on jumping in. Huh? You cross-dressing? Oh, hell no. Eh, no way. You were imagining it just now, huh? I must have been super cute. Where in the world does your confidence come from? Well, I'd be a lot better at it than you. You just look creepy. I don't think you needed to go that far. I mean, hey, I'd be cuter than Kaz here, right? Me? Why would I... You hear that, Kaz? He just said you'd lose. Are you gonna take that from him? What? There's no doubt that I'd be the cutest. I'd be the cutest one in school. I will not lose either at dressing up as a girl. Well, duh, you're... I am a female type, so female clothes would be... Okay, okay, let's just stop there. Kutone-san, what do you think? Whose cross-dressing would be the most super cute? Oh, now you're getting in on this too? Well, there's no question that she would be super cute. I don't know how you can say stuff like that so easily. Alright, you better move out of the way. You guys are holding everything up. S sorry You know, if you judge just by appearance, Yucatan is already super cute. What are you trying to say? Uh, nothing. He is saying that your personality is not cute. Yeah, I got that. Aichan, you gotta know when to speak up and when to stay quiet. If you don't learn, Yukatan's gonna give you the evil eye. See what I mean? No! Stop choking me! Cause say something! You gotta use your guts. For what? That reminds me, it's a shame you never got to wear that maid costume, yukari son. Huh? Ugh, so word not out about that. I'm relieved it never happened. But I bet lots of guys were really disappointed, right, Kazushi? Huh? R really? Uh, wait, what's a maid? A pure soul. Oh, it's something that guys like Junpei dream about. Junpei? Wait a sec, what's that look for? You act like I did something. Junpei-san. You gotta be kidding. You too, I guess? You finish cleaning up while chatting with everyone. Gekokan High, Library. Some students are making use of the library, but they keep their distance from Saori. Hey, Kitone-chan. Would it be okay if I asked you to take care of the counter by yourself? There aren't many people here today. And it seems like nobody wants me to be checking their books out anyway, so... I'll go put the book returns back on the shelf. Is she the one that was in the magazine? You can hear several boys gossiping behind the shelves. You hung out with her? Seriously? She'll do anything you ask. It's like she can't say no. No, don't. It's not going to change anything. 
I was a fool. Thanks, Katone-chan. I'm really happy that you're willing to stand up for someone like me. Sori smiles weakly. Everything about that article is a lie. All those things about me having sex and seducing boys and acting superior. I don't care how other people see me, but I want you to know that. Thank you. As long as you understand, I don't need anything else. Sori smiles weakly. Even though she says she doesn't care, is this really the truth? Being lied about having nasty rumors spread about her and now transferring to another school after all this? That seems like nothing more than confessing to all the lies being said. Huh? But how? But how can I do that to everyone? This is an announcement. Takao Yamaguchi of Class 1E, we have found your lost property. The school announcements? Huh? You suggested that you use the school broadcast to speak to all the students in the school. The broadcast? But, but I can't do that. Katone-chan, I... I don't want people to think the wrong things about me. I want them all to be my friends. I always thought that. If you'll be by my side, then I'll do it. Sorry looks like she's about to cry. PA room, there's no one inside. My heart's pounding. Look, my hands are cold. Sauri's hands are as frigid as ice. You know, you could have just asked me if, 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 if you, we could hold hands. We can hold hands if you want to. You clasp her hand tightly. Gutone-chan, I'll do my best. I need to do this. Running away won't help. Sauri seems to be trying to encourage herself. I didn't know that speaking from the heart was this terrifying, but I remember something. It feels good when your feelings match your words. I've heard that before, but never believed it. You're the one who made me feel that way before. But I'm going to do this, because you believe in me. Sori grips your hand tightly. Sori is like the, the prettiest girl in all of Persona. Like, hands down. I wish you could date her. Sori went into the broadcast room. Eventually, you begin to hear Sori's voice over the intercom. Maybe after she watches Utena, um, she'll realize some things and I can ask her out. This is- This is Saori Hasegawa of Class 2C. There's something I'd like to say. Everything in that magazine article is a lie. I never said anything to a journalist. That picture is of me. I didn't know how it would be used, and I deeply regret not considering that when I agreed to let it be taken. Hey, how's it going? Teachers are rushing your way. Are you part of this, Shiomi? How disrespectful do you have to be to hijack the school broadcast to pull a stunt like this? Asagawa, stop this at once! Mr. Okoda moves toward the door to the broadcast room, but you nonchalantly get in the way. Shiomi, now look how wonderful Miss Toriyumi's students are! What? Miss Onishi, isn't Hasegawa one of your students? Her behavior must be caused by your teaching ability. Is she saying anything that isn't true? If I recall, the one who tried to cover up the truth about that was... Don't you start pulling reason on me! Ugh, you science majors! What? The broadcast continues. I love this school. The teachers are kind but strict, and I have a friend who believes in me. I'm very sorry that I caused all of you, students and faculty, any trouble. I really am sorry. From the bottom of my heart. Sauri's voice trembles. What's with this announcement? Is this going out all over? Maybe sorry, son joined the drama club. People are gathering around the broadcast room. Uh, everyone, get lost! Everybody, if you stay here, I'm going to begin handing out homework. The single comment causes the students to flee in moments. Uh. Sauri comes out of the broadcast room. I'm sorry for what I did. I don't care if I get suspended or expelled because of this. You wanted to prove your innocence, didn't you? Yes. Everyone said so many terrible things about me, but I've never done anything wrong. 
but was this the correct way to go about it? Yes! Who knows? Still, you should have brought this issue to us first. Yeah, but you didn't... Okay, but you didn't, you didn't help her before, so... That makes this our problem. Mr. Okoda, leave these students to us. R what? Aren't you the one going on every day about how I should be taking on more duties as a teacher? Uh, I'd better see a report about this when it's over. Mr. Okoda leaves. Blech. Chiyomi-san, write up a report about this for us. It's something about how we all sat down, we should have given this more thought, blah blah blah. Or should I do it? You seem to be letting her off rather easily. You don't plan to punish Hasegawa-san, do you, Miss Onishi? What she did made me feel a lot better, too. I don't know how many times I've reprimanded my students for gossiping, but they just wouldn't listen. Earlier in this uh, game, you were trying to deny that any bullying happened here, so I don't believe you. Also, you're a pedophile. It must have taken guts to stand up for yourself like this. Oh, yes. But it's because Gatone-chan was with me. See? All it takes is a good friend. Yes, yes, you're the best teacher in the universe, Miss Toriyumi. Well then, you're free to go. I don't even want an essay out of you. Thank you very much. You walked home with Sori, who was laughing cheerfully. Hello. Are we going to Tartarus today? The lost are increasing, and I want to get stronger. So, if you're going, please take me. No, you don't want to go to Tartarus, you want to hang out. Iwato Dice Trip Mall, Wakat's Restaurant. Ken ordered a ginger pork meal, but he doesn't seem to be eating much. Oh, nothing. Ken begins eating hurriedly. Urp. I had some snacks a little while ago. Is it true that you won't get big and strong if you don't eat right? Out? If it'll help me get bigger, I gotta eat more. Ken tries hard to eat the food in front of him. Could something have happened to him? It's just that... Um... I noticed how small I am. Ken seems a little embarrassed. Um, it'd be nice if I could be like Akihiko-san. Um, Kotone-san. You'd prefer someone like Akihiko-san too, right? Yeah, he's cool. I, I see. Yeah, I, I think he's cool too. Ken looks downwards. I mean, saying no, no not at all would give me points, but I don't think I really need points for him. No, not at all might actually be a flag for the romance route. So, um... <laughs> I have, uh... Uh... Just completely crushed the possibility of that happening. Even though I wasn't gonna do it, obviously. But, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with him. Since I'm ro romancing Akihiko. I want to hurry and become an adult. Ken has a serious look on his face. There must be something on Ken's mind. You feel like you understand Ken a little better now. Oh! You can't eat anymore, Kutone-san! If you get any bigger, I won't be able to catch up to you. Ken continues wolfing down his rice. You finish your dinner with Ken and return to the dorm together.